Yeah. Just hold on. Ah! Okay. Audio's working. There you go. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, all we simply need to do is, again, we're trying to solve, we're trying to replace, we're trying to write this equation in terms of x and y's, right? So, so therefore, we have our x over, our, uh, x over y is equal to sine of t, and y over 2 is equal to cosine of t. And then if you guys remember, we used that Pythagorean identity, which was sine squared of t or of t plus cosine squared of t is equal to 1. Well, now I have a representation for sine of t and cosine of t. So I'll just plug them in. And this is just like the other one. The only difference in, to the one that I did in class was cosine was the x and sine was with y. But it really doesn't matter. You're still just solving for the trig of t. And then you can just go ahead and evaluate. So you'd have x squared over 4 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. Multiply by 4 on both sides. You get x squared plus y squared equals 4, which you guys should remember from geometry is the equation of a circle with a radius of 2. two.